few seconds, folks. Let me just make sure everything's kosher. All right, we're live. Welcome back, everybody. And one, two, four, nine, G forty one, nine. Go if you prefer. And we are back with Hogwarts Legacy. Let's get going. <coughs> Wasting enough time, anyway. Let's see. I think I could all I could uh, go from defense against the dark arts there. There. We just finished room requirements, and I want to go in the shadow of the Uncroft, because apparently we get a new spell from I'm Sebastian. <coughs> Which I'm all for getting another spell. <laughs> but then we're gonna go off and explore this uh, this world. I'm just I'm spellbound. I'm I'm loving this. I'm loving every moment of this. The room requirements was alone amazing, and now the the the, the world is our oyster. <coughs> There, and there's so many side quests I gotta be doing. There's so much. <coughs> and all right, where are we? Here we are. Rebellion. Anything? All right, I guess not. Wait. Oh God, what's back? Are you okay? Your face over here. Okay, there you go. You fixed yourself. You were a little bit dented there. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Lead the way then. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Hello, it's, oh, there we go. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. 
Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Oza! Confringo! You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Revelio. Rebellion. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key, and Gringotts, and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours... Does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. 
And remember, keep this place between us. Roger that. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Looking forward to it, Sebastian. Come on, exit. Also, nice armor right there. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And... Herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh, I'm gonna be truthful to you. Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. And I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. No need to threat. No need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant! Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Jeez, learn to take a chill pill. I went to next up. Oh. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. All right, now I'm left for the choice. Do I want to continue onward with the quest? Or do I want to... Uh, of course, level 10. Professor Fig, shop assignment. Flight test, purchase a broom. Demanding delivery. <coughs> a ghost of our, lo of our love. Cross wands, round three. Uh, cross wands, round three. That's tempting. <coughs> With the new Confrigo spell. What is this? Focus... Require I use a focus potion. Don't I have... You know, let's go to the room of requirement to see if I can't brew that potion. If I have the potion, that is. <coughs> if not, I'm going to have to take a trip to Hogsmeade. But to be fair with Sebastian, I was going to just take a helmet. Your friend Sebastian told me. Go easy on him. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. All right. Any more messages? Ooh, a sanguine mask. Alright, I guess I have to head over to Potion, not the Potion, but uh, the Potion uh, person. Acquiring use of Venomous Tentacula. Acquiring use of Metric on multiple enemies simultaneously. Wingardium Leviosa. 
<coughs> Let's see, professor shop assignment, flight test. Hmm. A demanding delivery. No, let's go there. Follow the butterflies. Is there anything else? What is this? Tomb of the villager? I'm I must be I'm not sure which one I want to do first. Uh you know what? We'll do the delivery, then we'll do the flight test. Wait, what's this? All the butterflies, yeah. Where's Sog's meat? Here we come. So much to do. Now to be fair with Sebastian, ah. I'm gonna be on that for a while. I wasn't trying to rat him out. <clears throat> I did not rat out Sebastian. I was just saying, being honest with him. Look, your friend Sebastian has good judgment, even if he breaks the rules at times. So, why not trust his judgment and just be like, okay, so he taught you about the Aircraft. He must have a good feeling about you. Exactly. That's how, that's one way to look at it. It's a perfect way to look at it. On another adventure, are we? You can say that. Speak with Perry Pippin. Got it. <coughs> we have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Oh, uh, let's see. Common tool, combat tools. God damn, you're charging that much. Okay, how much is a focus potion? Uh, fine. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yeah, just give me a moment. <coughs> Let that potion thing vanish. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Uh, happy to help. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. All right, let's see, it's that far away. <clears throat> World map. Give me the world map. It's further away than I expected. Field guide pages.
All right. I guess I'll fast travel here, the little hog field, and go from there. <clears throat> Might begin to see some combat. Don't mind me just looking at my phone while I wait. Alright, here we go. I never thought Ramrock's wireless would go this far. Oh right, I don't have a broom yet. God dang it, looks like I'm walking. I forgot about that. <clears throat> oh well, at least it as I can take in the air. Moonstone. I knew I was getting something, but what can you do? I had a feeling I was going to get ambushed sooner or later. Let's see, turn this way? I like a balloon. You better appreciate this, I'm legging it all the way on foot. Those birds just vanished. You know, I'm going to take this pathway. It's probably shorter anyway. Loving this music still. All right, we're almost there. Let me just go discover this foo flame, and then we'll be on. We'll go give her what she wants. Always been keen on Keenbridge. Hang on to your valuables. That's all I'll say. 
that person should have been here by now. Always late that person. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Let's see which one's the invisibility. This one? See, it works. At least for a time. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Let's see what she has for sale anyway. Not much. Thank you for stopping me. I will take the ocean. Rebellion. Oh, there's one. Might as well turn to him. <laughs> Perfect time to catch up on some reading while the mer while the long screen goes about. <laughs> Also, sorry, I Paul, I uh, sort of just stood there a few for a bit. It's because I just got something. <laughs> I'm wondering if they'll ever include some more DLC for this game. I mean, the Dark Arts pack is pretty interesting, but come on, is that all you're going to release?
Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Let's see. This, ooh, 300 and distinguished amber cloak. Oh, I almost leveled up too. Alright, let's do the fight test. Is it over here? Ah, new face! Wonderful! Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible, it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you ones darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. And they all cost 600. Hmm. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. No, I'll buy this. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. 
clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Uh, uh, uh how do you... How do you... Yeah. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do, oh... Some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Sounds good to me. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Alright. Oh. Alright. <sighs> I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Let's see what else we can get up to. I suppose I can always use cross wand. That's something to do. It's so difficult to figure out what to do next. The world's our oyster after all.
Let's check out challenges and see if I... Ooh, field guides. Yes, I have. Hmm. No, I think I'll call it the episode here for now. Let me just save the game. <clears throat> and I shall see you all in the next episode whenever I'm... I'm going to take a quick break. Get something to eat. And I'll go from there. Till next time. Bye-bye.